reviewing for youtube.com slash live tech australia today i've got these two fantastic ipod touch fourth generation cases for you so we've got the belkin verve folio it retails for around 40 bucks it's a lovely case you'll see that a bit later and we've got the belkin jewel fit armband um, it's extremely comfortable be fantastic for jogging um, I've got it on my arm here as you can see now um when I bought my iPod touch a couple of weeks ago I got this it was about a dollar fifty in the mail eBay now if you have a look at it it is super flimsy I thought what the heck how can they sell me this luckily I contacted the seller let them know let them know of their problem hope they fix it this is where I turn to Belkin for high quality cases. So, I'm going to start off with this dual fit armband. So basically, you put your iPod into here. Um, it's extremely hard to get in and extremely hard to get out. Um, the buttons, like the home button, you do have to press quite hard and like you, it doesn't really give you access to your side volume buttons on the iPod Touch. You can't take photos, not that you'd really want to when you're jogging because it would just be of your arm. There's no um, hole for it. Um, yeah, so um, with the screen you press it, you have to push extremely hard because the plastic <coughs> basically interferes with the screen and that doesn't induce a pleasurable experience using this. Even though the screen is a bit hard to control because of the plastic, if you've got your um, iPhone headphones or you're using like the previous, some of the previous version iPod Touch headphones, they had um, controls on them and obviously that would make it a lot easier and better for you. Um, there's a bit of a gap here so you plug your headphones in there you jog away and enjoy the music. Up next we have the Vofolio for iPod Touch 4th generation. As you can see it comes in a nice box here. Easy to open. Pull that open. Pops out. Um, it's got nice like leather with a cool design there. That That's going to be quite good for your screen. It's got a little pocket here so you can fit a couple of small things. Um, your iPod goes in really easily, like so. Just push it down. And some of the buttons, they're a bit hard to press. Also, it does restrict a little bit. It makes it a tiny bit harder to um, press your side volume buttons because this thing sticks out a little bit. Um, ultimate, it is actually a really nice looking case, as you'll see. Got a little hole for your camera. Um, and um, when you touch the screen, if you're touching right near the bottom, some people may find um, this little bar at the bottom a bit annoying on their fingers, and it might just stop the screen, stop you from tapping tiny things. It's not not a big thing. It's just something that people might want to be aware of. So flip it closed, and it's a lovely case. Up next, we've got the Belkin Shield Eclipse. Now, I have previously reviewed this uh, in written format uh, on Trevor Long's YourTechLife.com blog. Uh, I did this along with four other uh, Belkin cases. Um, this one is the Shield Eclipse. We have it in blue. Um, so, it is kind of hard to put on and take off. Um, maybe that's just because it's new and it hasn't been worn in. But it is made out of very strong plastic polyurethane, which is really good. Uh, let's just get a close-up over here. Um, you can see it's blue it, on the bottom half and around the edges, of course. And around the back, we have uh, a transparent section where the Apple logo is shining through. Um, we've also got the buttons on the top here, which I did find kind of hard to uh, press down. You have to kind of forcefully press down to activate them. And also the volume buttons. Uh, also, the the um, silent switch is sort of recessed in there, so you really have to get your nail in there to activate the silent switch, which is really, um, it's actually really annoying. So people who don't have time to fumble around with that silent switch, it's going to save them a lot of time if they don't buy this case. 
But otherwise, it's a great case. It's going to protect you um, for quite a few years. Um, I don't really like the whole aesthetics on the back because the whole Apple logo is shining through. Unless you really want somebody to know you have an iPhone, um, then that's, I guess, for you. But I don't mind if the whole thing's covered in blue. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it looks nice. It works very well. Uh, it retails for around about 30 to $35, depending on where you're buying it in Australia. But uh, that's pretty much it. This has been Daniel with the Belkin Shield Eclipse for the iPhone 4. One more thing before we go. We do have a giveaway, as you can see in the title above, uh, from the guys uh, at Belkin. So big, big thanks to them for sponsoring this giveaway. We've got some awesome cases for you. Brand new, not the ones that we reviewed, except for one of them. Um, so go check them out, belkin.com.au. First up, we have the Verve Folio, which we just reviewed a few minutes ago for the iPod Touch. Uh, so this is awesome. Um, that's going to be one of the prizes. Second prize is the Belkin Shield Eclipse. Now, I just did review this one, but in blue, so this is a red version. And then, uh, obviously, the other Belkin Shield Eclipse for the iPhone, which is the one I just reviewed, the blue one. So that's the third prize, and the big mama of all of them, we have the Belkin Jewel Fit, which Nathan reviewed at the beginning. This is for the iPhone, not for the iPod Touch. Um, we didn't bother reviewing this one because uh, it's very similar to the iPod Touch version one, which we reviewed at the beginning of the video. So, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, all the four prizes uh, to review, uh, to give away, actually. And uh, if you want to be a part of it, A, you have to be subscribed, and yes, we are going to check. It's a legal requirement. And uh, second of all, um, all you have to do is leave a comment below in this video um, saying either iPhone, depending on whatever prize you want, or iPod. So if you've got an iPhone, or you want an iPhone case, uh, then leave a comment saying iPhone. If you've got an iPod Touch, or you want an iPod Touch case, uh, leave a comment saying uh, iPod Touch. Now, beware that this does. This is only for the iPhone 4, and this is only for the current generation iPod Touch. Uh, it does. The competition will end on the 4th of November 2010, which is a week starting from now. So get your entries in, and uh, yeah, big thanks to Belkin again for sponsoring the giveaway. Good luck.